name is Ivan. I, um, let me tell you how it started. When my mom was eight months uh, old, taking my two sisters a shower, one of them she puts down, okay? That's the two-year-old. The ten-month-old one, she decides to dry up. This one escapes from her because she takes her eyes off for two seconds. She escapes outside butt naked. So my mom, pregnant eight months with me, has to grab the other one and chase after one. Mia, don't go nowhere, go! And then she got there, she hit her stomach on the fence, Boom! Contraction started, and guess what? I came out with a bang, 4th of July. So that's where it is. I'm, my birthday's next week, as a matter of fact. So, um, the next thing that I, uh, yeah, I just got rotocup surgery, okay? Now, the thing I worry about that surgery, when you're under anesthesia, man, this is crazy, but it almost happened to me. When you're under, and then you're, you can't feel nothing, you can't move nothing, but then you're feeling everything. Now, that's the worst kind of surgery that you can have, because one time, this one went okay, the roto cup. But then, when I had my toe done, the guy, I woke up when the thing was like, he was still hammering some titanium all up in my foot. Are you kidding me? Man, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> Not a good time to wake up. Then, my wife, you know, I had to have help. You know, good uh, I needed help because uh, I had a sling. I couldn't do nothing. Man, the first day was the worst. It was like somebody had a knife in my arm, just turning it every time I want to make a move. It was just awful. And then the pain pills didn't work. Man, for four days, they didn't do anything, but man, they helped a little bit. But all they did was clog me up. The fourth day, I had to take some prune juice just to clean myself up. Mm. In about an hour, I was pissing out of my ass. ta -da! Man, four days, I'm telling you. Chocolate juice in my whole... It was all over the place. I felt sorry for the wife, but I tried to do the best I can with the, the one hand that I did have. You know, but then I had to go into the shower. And, you know, everything was great. You know, she was cleaning me up, you know, ever so gently cleaning my balls. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can get used to this shit. But then she started cleaning the backside, right? Mm. Then, I don't know, she spent a little bit too much time back there. I think she got the tip of it in. Oh, man, that wasn't right. I go, this ain't going to happen to me again. So, yeah, I, I go, you know, honey, I'll, I'll take my own baths now. Okay? Now... Man, I was always accident prone, as you can see. Oh, wasn't even supposed to be there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I had this thing. I couldn't even get, wait to go back to work. So I'm over here trying to do something. Mm, make a hole. You know how them drills go out? They stop all of a sudden and bam. Next thing you know, I'm, I can't feel my finger. So, of course, it went like that. So now I got to put something on it so I can stay straight. But, man, that was, that's uh, very impatient of me, man. I there's a lot of reasons why I, I, can't, I can't wait. You know what? I always finish somebody's sentence. So if you're talking to me and I kind of guess what you're going to finish saying, I'll finish it for you. My son hates that. Dad, can I finish what I'm telling you? Oh, okay. I'll let you do that right now. So, um, yeah, I'm a plumber. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm always in the shit. I got to tell you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, my last... My last situation, oh my goodness, I can't even see from here. <laughs> now, you know what? I really got to stop telling people about my opinion on other people's plumbing work. Man, I get over there. This guy has duct tape. He's got caulking. And he has a bucket catching some water under the sink. And then I come over there, I go, what, what Mick, Mickey Mouse Donald Duck plumber did this? And then most of the time they'll say, oh, it was me. <laughs> but yeah, I got to really stop giving my opinion because I'm always usually talking about them. So, yeah, and then, um, yeah, oh, shoot, I hate when this happens, but anyway, I, um, I'm accident prone, so, you know, one time I was walking down, uh, the tracks one day, right, here comes a slow moving train, oh, man, that thing is slow, maybe I just jump on it real quick, didn't think through it too much, because mm. I jump on, and I'm like, oh, man, this is cool, man, this is great, why is this thing going faster? <laughs> I'm looking at the road, I'm like, oh no, yeah, you think you can just, and then run, right? Yeah, I was like, I was just timing it, kept timing it, and seeing all this stuff. You don't notice what things on the track until you're done. Then I just jump off, oh yeah, I got glass, rusted nails, uh, you name it, all over me, just cut me all up. I had to go to a friend's house and get cured. But yeah, that, that wasn't a very good idea, it wasn't thought out too well. Am I supposed to say, oh, hey, how you doing there in uh, Facebook land or TV land or on, uh, whoever on, land you're in? We're on YouTube. YouTube land. YouTube. There you go. Yeah, I'm a little old school, so yeah, I just, sorry. Hi, Ivan. Hi. 
We're doing an interview for Sunday morning sessions. Thanks for watching. And Ivan, we just saw some of your comedy. And yeah, I sure did, but nobody got to see it. So we did a little silent film, but we're gonna see about the audio. Maybe we might even be able to hear some of what I had to say. You saw me moving around. Looked like I was, hey, I was having a hard time, but nah, it's just the way I talk. I love you. I love you too, Eric, but you know, I'm married and uh, I don't roll that way. <laughs> <laughs> just as a friend. You know how the women do it. A friend zone. <laughs> I want to just be friends. Hey, Ivan, according to your comedy and your, uh, your catchphrase, I would say, you are often in the shit. So can you tell us a little about your favorite and least favorite things of being in the shit? Well, I mean, it, you're always in it, right? I mean, you got to get in there, and then you're, you're dealing with the toilets, the sinks, and the, and the, and, uh, the tubs. But when, when it's the, tub, the toilet only, man, you know what it is. And, and for whatever reason, it doesn't work, but guess what? They still want to use it. So when you get there, the stuff is piled up with toilet paper and everything on it. It's just a pile of... Yeah, chocolate juice, especially when they've been pissing out of their ass. But uh, yeah, and then, you know, you try and tell the people, don't use the, to the toilet upstairs. I had to, yeah, uh, yeah, don't use it, but man, they still did. One lady wanted to put a, a, a sewer rat down there, fresh, pulled out, red, it's a tampon. And they just, a you what? Know, they, yeah, a sewer rat's a tampon, because it has a tail on it, but this one was fresh, it was still red. Because she just pulled it out and thrust it down the toilet. It came out at me. I'm like, oh, no, what the heck is this? So I took it up to her. And I told her, you know you're not supposed to put these down the toilet, right? You ain't got to be bringing this out over here, showing everybody. I go, no, nah, yeah, now everybody knows you're on the rack. So how you like me now? Great. Hey, Ivan, so a few of your friends and mine, uh, well, I guess, well, where's my phone? Where's my phone at? Where'd I put my phone, Ivan? Ivan, where'd I put my phone? This is kind of the next bit. Where'd I put my... Ivan, where's my phone? I don't know, man. Ivan, where'd I put my phone? Oh, my God. I, it's okay. Ivan, where's my phone? I have no idea. Ivan, where'd you, where'd you put it? I didn't put it anywhere. Ivan, where, let's look for it. Let's look for your phone. Why don't you call phone. your phone? Do you have my number? I think so. Yeah, I should have so it. Let's call, my, let's call my number. Oh, no. If, it's, if I'm being framed... Oh, I found it. All right, so... Uh, a couple of your friends and mine, we, uh, we have this thing in a Facebook messenger group, and we called it. Can you read the name of it for us? Ivan's Fanboys. They're called Ivan's Fanboys. It's a group of comedians who really who were fans of you. Oh, really? So I asked Ivan's Fanboys, um, do you have any questions for Ivan? And, uh, and the, the, we got one response out of the, probably about a dozen people. We got one response. Can you answer this question? How often would you say you're in the shit? <laughs> At least once a day. You know, five times a week. Um, it just depends on what it is. And then when it is in the shit, and you know, because people, look, they, some people just don't eat enough fiber. You know, that thing gets about this big. How did that thing come out of you, man? Hey, you must have really big friends. Anyway, you, um, and it doesn't make the turn. See, I mean, the toilet goes up and down and around, and what's, it's peeking out of the bottom of the toilet, so I gotta pick it up. Bring a, a hanger just to break it loose. The guy wants to put another toilet in. I go, hey, it's your money, but you really need to eat more fiber. So yeah, it's most of the time, not every day, but most of the time. Ivan, what's your favorite Italian food? Ooh. Well, I like lasagna, chicken alfredo. Can I pick more than one? I mean, they're all good. Tell me your top ten. Your top, top ten? ten favorite Italian foods. Oh, well, I like the chicken alfredo, the lasagna. We got the spaghetti, the raviolis. I mean, you know, uh, what else? That's it. Not top ten. I don't have ten. The only time I eat. It's okay. Answer the phone. Who is it? Oh, no, it's my father. He, wants, he needs his drugs because he has a bad back, and I had leftover... Uh, Norco from my shoulder. Yeah, this is really gonna help, right? <laughs> no, but yeah, he asked me if I had any more, and I said I had a couple. But yeah, he's in pain, so he he likes to live on that. But yeah, 
You just had soldier shirt, shoulder shirt. I can't even say it. Shoulder. It's so Sh hot in here. Okay, it's, it's, it's a rotocup replacement surgery. Rotocup replacement surgery. surgery. Yeah, now I'm a, now I'm the bionic man. I got a big old piece of metal in my shoulder. So now every time I go to a metal detector, I got to stop them from putting them damn latex gloves on because you are not going to give me a cavity search. It's right here. You heard that it's first right here. on Sunday morning session. Ivan's a bi man. You're a bi man. Bi man. <laughs> bi metal. Bi you, metal? You don't step. Don't start at bi. They might screw it as something else. You know, hey, as man, what? woman. Yeah. I mean, hey, I, I, I haven't. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're caught looking at men's asses and then they turn around. That's a terrible thing. Long hair, walking down the street. And then they turn around with a beard on their face. Oh my God, it's still nice. That's how we Must met. Must work out. That's how we met. It worked out. <laughs> That's how we met. That's how we met. <laughs> he turned around with that beard. I said, hey, sorry about that, Eric. <laughs> Anyways, you've been watching Sunday morning <laughs> sessions. <laughs> Ivan, how would you like to send us off? How would you like? Thank you for that. Got me a little nervous. I'm starting to sweat. See, I'm it? so sweaty right now. It's very hot. Oh, yeah, it's I'm hot in here, man. It's like a Nelly song. Are you a fan of Nelly? Nelly? Oh, the ones that do lip sync and never really sing? Yeah, Furtado. Oh, okay, yeah, lip syncing. Yeah, I, yeah, I do lip sync. I mean, uh, uh, karaoke, yeah, it's my thing. But, uh, yeah, hey, um, I'm going to be back again. If you guys want to stay up, keep watching uh, Three Sweet Productions, and you're going to see more of Ivan Santiago over here, and I got some crazy stories to tell you. Hi, Ivan again. Puerto Rican, Cleveland Rican from Puerto Rico. You know, uh, both my mom and dad, they met in Cleveland. Dad saw her across the room talking about, yeah, look at that, honey. I'm taking that one home. Yeah, four kids later, we were over here in California when I was about seven, what, three years old we moved out here on a train. Are you kidding? All the way down there? I had to be on a leash because ain't no way I could stay still. I was hyper ever since I came out. You know, eight month baby, are you kidding? I was ready to come out already. So. We get down there, my dad's, you know, it was, it was, it was kind of hard to find uh, babysitters. So you know who our babysitter was, was my oldest sister. She was only two years older than me. But man, she, hey, she thought she had power. But you know, I got older and I said, you know what, I could take her. <laughs> yeah, I could take her. You know what, you gonna do the room or not? Cause nah, I ain't gonna listen to you. You ain't my mama, shoot you. Who the heck you think you are? You better do your room before mom gets home or else you gonna have to deal with her. I go, I'll deal with her then, shoot. He goes, nah, you ain't going to deal with her. You're going to deal with me now. You understand? You got to get this thing done. Otherwise, you're in trouble. I go, nah, you ain't going to do nothing. She grabs me by both of my ears and says, you're going to do the goddamn chores or I'm going to cut your ears off. I was like, oh, my God, I couldn't even get loose. I was like, man, if I try to even try to get loose, one of them, my ears going to come right off, right? I'm like, man, I did do my chores that day, though. But, you know, hey, I started, because I'm the man of the house. Are you kidding me? Two women ahead of me? You know, one's ten, ten and a half months, the other one's only two years. But yeah, she, she, you know, she was just like my mom, so you know, we had to listen to her while my mom wasn't there. Otherwise, hey, big trouble when mama gets home. Man, one time I was over in the backyard. You know, they say don't play with matches. Like, all right, I don't play with no matches, but I got a magnifying glass. Found out that you can burn things with this thing. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I started burning ants. They go like this. They just die, right? Then, all of a sudden, I started burning paper. Ooh, look, paper. Hey. Ooh, look, leaves. Ha. <laughs> then, you know, next thing you know, one leaf led to another leaf, and then I'm over here, oh, sh oh, shit. You know, you panic, right? I mean, nah, I'm piss on it right now, but you, when you're a kid, you don't even think about it. So I'm, I'm like, and my mom's over here, hey, que esta pasando? Hey, what you doing? I go, nothing, mom. With this scared voice, and she knew how it sounds when I'm scared. So she comes out there and checks it out. Then she goes out there and puts that thing out in no time. Goes, oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you, my ass. Come here. You want to play with fire? <laughs> Man, we ate. Weird and unusual punishment. She thought that if she took me to the stove, turned it on, and burned my hand, would I play with fire again? Hell no, because it got real close, it got warm, and I could not pull out. <laughs> I never pull out anyway, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it was close, man. And then finally she let me go. You gonna play with fire again? Matches, right? And then, bip! Not a good time to be funny. You know, so I, I, I never played with, well, I never started another fire that I did not want to start. 
Because I still was playing with matches and fire, but still. Just didn't happen that like that anymore. And, uh, you know, I used to work for a trucking company. Man, them guys, practical jokes, man. They were, they were crazy, man. There was an outhouse there. Nobody ever used it. Because if the owner knew that you were in that outhouse, he would have to come over there and um, he, he'd come over there and just knock it over. What? How are you going to answer the phone? I'm doing something. Ah, damn, it's my wife. <laughs> uh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> and this is still rolling. You're gonna make me do that? Uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, can we do that one all right? Oh, yeah. oh, we just got stopped. Oh, I don't even know where I was. Where's he at? Where you at? Where was I at? Oh, was I playing with fire or was I? Give me a joke. Give me a joke. All right. Um, yeah. You know, she was, she was a disciplinary. <laughs> hey, but check this out. But if you if you play with fire, you get burned. But if you smoke, you gotta smoke a cigar and you gotta inhale it. Oh man, but that was my dad's idea because I got away with it one time. I had a whole pack of cigarettes. My mom saw it. She got it ripped away, threw them on the floor. I go, oh, wow, I just bought it. I didn't even smoke none of them. But hey, it's better than smoking a cigar, man, because that's what my brother had to do, and I know he didn't enjoy that. That like cigar turned green <laughs> after he was finished. So yeah, my dad is, you know, he has his punishments, my mom's got mine. Yeah, you know, but she was a good disciplinarian, and that's probably why I was not as bad as I could have been. You know, I was all up into everything, but you know, I got stopped in my tracks. I, I had to fix, <laughs> I had to just be good or else, what pow. <laughs> so yeah, mom, hey, but you know what? That's my, that's the way I got my attention from my mama. How you getting yours? Are you being good, straight A's? <laughs> yeah, I just got in trouble, and Mom always paid attention to me. Always. I got all the attention. But yeah, some of those attentions weren't, weren't worth it, because, man, one time she, she got so mad at me, she was pounding my head against the, the, the hallway thing. I put my hand right here. Bam! Next thing you know, this is busted bleeding. Oh, poor Lucito. Now she's taking care of me. See, so, you know, it just depends on the love. That's rough love, right? <laughs> And, um, yeah, so let me, let me tell you about my sister. My sister, she, she has anger issues. Now, one time she cut somebody off, and the guy gets off and says, Man, what the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? And she, her eyes got wide, and she all of a sudden said, What'd you say? She goes, he gets out of the car and says, Yeah, what the hell is wrong with you, bitch? Oh, she walks to the back of the trunk, gets a bat, and then commences to go after this guy. This guy is running around his car, Jumps in, and he thinks he's safe. Wrong. Man, my sister began to just, bam, front window. Bam, side window. Bam, the next one, next thing you know, the cops are there. Saved his ass. But yeah, she had to go to anger management and fix his car, but yeah, she hasn't done that in a while, so I, I doubt she's going to do it again. But yeah, I mean, anger issues, man, it's tough. I mean, I have anger issues too, but... Hey, I'll do something. I'm gone. I ain't gonna wait for no cops. Are you kidding me? I'm out of here. They always, hey, they always there when you don't want them anyway. Always trying to break up stuff. I was at a funeral the other day. Somebody wanna start talking smack. Am I? Somebody wanna start talking smack while the woman is still. We're looking at her. Hey, oh, don't be, hey, you, why you bump into me? I'm like, oh, you gotta be kidding. Nobody was saying anything but her. The cops came five cop cars for one Mexican girl. Yeah. It's tough out there in Torrance. They, 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 don't take, they don't take no chances. Oh, my God, Latinos, we got to bring the whole force. Yeah, that's my time. Thank you very much. Hey, are you in the shit? Ivan sure was. I am sometimes. Are you, Dre? I have to poop. So thank you for watching Sunday Morning Sessions here on 3 Sweet Productions. Like, share, subscribe. I don't know if you're in that order, but... Thank you.